Great. Well, uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, always great to have a have a good turnout. Um, as always, uh, the Purple WRT meetings are recorded. We post them online for people who aren't here. Um, so we will uh, we'll uh, just uh, go right into the agenda. But uh, also, if if anyone has any concerns about the about the recording, please let me know uh, now or after the fact. Uh, so the agenda introductions. I think everyone here knows everyone, um, so we can skip that. Uh, We'll go right into board farm status. Um, anything new with anybody working on board farm related stuff? Frustrating me now. <laughs> I, I had posted a, a commit for that thing you had mentioned, Eric. Um, yeah. That you boot not supporting Echo, but I guess it sounds like you had other problems too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, getting, after I got past that, I had many other problems, but they're all good. So it's good to have them in, have the, find those problems. So I can, I'll uh, submit some issues for those, for the weird situations and where they don't have certain features, right, yeah. but actually does have an image that we can support. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, something that came to mind. Mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't really looked into it, but I, I guess that the, the, Main ball farm is still under the QCA reaper, as you've listed there. But the yep. purple has its own as well. Which one do we push into? Uh, pull request to? You would do a pull request to the QCA one. Uh, the the purple one is really just for. It's basically we have some situations where we have some slight some modifications, mm -hmm. um, that we're doing for what we're running internally. Um, and most of those are getting pushed back either now or will be. So um. The real upstream is a QCA one. <clears throat> okay. Um, but it, I guess I, I mean if you if you forked off the purple one, you could potentially push to that if it's unique to something that we're already doing internally, like something related to the limited users. But if you're using like root users, then it would probably just go to QCA. It's probably best. Right. Yeah. You also mentioned it was frustrating, Paul. Uh, it's just that um, I, you know, I, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that I was trying to get the team to just focus on ball farm. <laughs> and, uh, mm -hmm. Hasn't worked out. <laughs> no. Uh, that, you know, unexpected things come in, and there you mm -hmm. go. I mean, we're still trying to concentrate on it, and I really think we'll get there this week, next week. But let's see. Well, I mean, have, have there been anything like that's that's been slowing you down that that we can address? Uh, only no nothing in terms of well, nothing that i can sort of list to you here it's yeah. all just been other work coming in from okay. the sidelines we really wanted to focus on it but we haven't been able to we do have yeah. i think i mentioned before we do have a small set of tests running um mm -hmm. all set up on the ci here so uh, there's nothing fundamentally stopping us it's just a case of finding out why the rest of the tests aren't running um mm -hmm. or at least aren't passing or and most of them are just missing packages and things. We're just working through it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Please, if you do notice things that are like that, that are um, things that are going to affect the project, like you think that are going to affect other people, uh, if possible, either document it or submit a pull request or something. So For sure. make sure we have a, yeah, so we have a record of those things. Um, from my end on Board Farm, I spent a few hours yesterday on working on trying to get that AP 143 going. Um, it was a bit of a task because of all the things that have been turned off in U-Boot. And then I find out after the fact that, oh yes, apparently the the flash is actually too small for a standard OpenWRT build. Um, so uh, unfortunately it may not be, may not have gained much from that. Uh, did learn some things and related to how we can um, do some, uh, modify the way we handle U-Boot for situations where cer certain parts of U-Boot maybe maybe not be built and installed. But um, I'm a, I have another AP-143, so I'll try to see if it has a, has a bigger flash. If not, then we'll, we'll go from there. Um, we're also certainly happy to accept boards that uh, for testing. Um, so if you know of anybody who has extra boards, whether it be in a company or uh, people who want to volunteer and donate them, we are really happy to accept them. Um, so, 
uh, please keep on the lookout for that or or talk internally if you have particularly if you have support upstreamed um, into open WRT or lead um, if it's not upstreamed uh, we can accept them but it kind of the, mainly we're testing upstream support so I mean it doesn't make as much sense but we can still accept them um, so yeah if you want to do that please email the mailing list or email myself Anything else that anyone wants to talk about with board farm related? All right. Um, funding open WRT projects. Uh, the three projects that we had approved are obviously still approved um, and are moving forward. Uh, we Felix um, uh, committed to getting his proposal in this week or early next. Uh, so. Hopefully we will we will get that and be able to address that. He got some clarifications from me and some stuff. So um, it's moving forward. Uh, Luca has uh, I, I don't know if Luca's actually started the integration work or, or whatnot, um, but he has it's all signed. He's um, I, I assume he's starting on the on the the UCI stuff too, and and he committed to providing updates every two weeks. So uh, so he'll he would obviously he would certainly uh, come next week to provide an update. So I I had a discussion with Luca about the integration. Yep. Okay. Uh, so we, we agreed on uh, on a way to go forward. Uh, so normally the things are ongoing. Uh, uh, I just need uh, a confirmation from from Art uh, regarding the um, our uh, software stack uh, yep. because. Uh, for soft atom, uh, we will put in open source if we get the confirmation that it will be integrated in open WRT. So Luca is ready to do that. Uh, but as it, uh, it was not uh, confirmed officially, I'm waiting for, for this uh, information uh, to um, and to the, then when I will have it, uh, I will be able to, to put it in, in open source. So okay. currently we work with with Luca um, directly, mm -hmm. okay, just not to block anything and not to take mm -hmm. any unnecessary delay. Uh, but that's the current situation. Okay, awesome. That that's great. That actually brings up a second uh, the the point about which stack is Luca going to integrate first. Um, we had. We, I also got an email from from the folks at ADB on the line, and and they had emailed me and asked, you know, how are we going to go about doing the stack integration? And there's there's certainly two parts of this, and we didn't like come up with a process for deciding that, um, because originally we didn't think we were going to have more than one open or um, TR sixty nine stack that was going to be open sourced. Um, that may not be the case going forward. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, the folks at ADB, would you like to provide some sort of, you know, kind of the background of, you know, what the questions you were asking and, and anything that's, that's related to this? Oh, yes, uh, Eric, uh, um, I can confirm you that, um, we are in the process of, uh, releasing uh, the, um, uh, the TR-69, uh, stack, uh, uh, our idea uh, within a few days uh, is uh, to release on uh, some uh, GitLab repository. Uh, and uh, for the moment, uh, leaving free access to, to our uh, Purple TR69 uh, uh, team working on it, mm -hmm. and also for uh, for Luca, uh, there will be the uh, capability to 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 get the source code. Uh, we are also in the under definition of uh, some sort which uh, open source license uh, to uh, uh, to choose uh, in order to mark uh, all uh, source files and. Um, to choose this uh, open mm -hmm. source uh, licensing for the for the code, uh, 
and uh, this will uh, allow us to make the, the repository public. Mm -hmm. I think it, okay, will, that... it will take some more days uh, after the after the first release to to the powerful team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, there there are there are two parts to this, and there's the making the stack available to the you know Luca and Felix because they need to be able to review as many of the stacks as possible, particularly Felix. I mean, Luca would also benefit, but Felix, because he's working on the framework, is going to have to um, have access to all of them. It, um, so there's that side of that. Luca's uh, contract w with Purple was to integrate a stack, an open source stack, into OpenWRT um, and into the framework. Uh, so... The question is, is which one is it going to be? Um, we have a pretty strong commitment that the soft at home one's going to be going to be open sourced very soon. Um, is that a fair way of looking uh -huh. at that, Wojtek, would you say? Yeah, absolutely. The, the only thing I need okay. is, uh, as I said, is the if, confirmation. If we, it's confirmed that it will be integrated, it will be open sourced. Okay. Um, my thinking is, do we we can we can do this a couple different ways? Do we want Voitech? Would you like to talk with with um, Pasquale maybe and just dis discuss if that if which one should go first, or do we want to just pick one? I mean, I, I'm I'm happy either way. Um, we certainly have to just move forward with one of them at the very least. Um, and I don't see a reason why, perhaps long term, that Purple couldn't fund integrating uh, multiple stacks. I don't know. I, again, I, I don't decide the funding, so I'm not going to um, commit to that. Um, so, what we agreed during the, the meeting in Paris is that. Uh, we will potentially have several uh, TR69 stacks uh, coming mm -hmm. from different vendors in open source. So that's uh, nothing changes for, for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Then regarding the, um, how to say that, the, the order of integration, this is not something that we discussed. Uh, mm -hmm. Personally, my feeling was always that we will do it in the order uh, as the proposals were uh, submitted. Mm -hmm. Just you know, the first in, uh, first out. So, uh, that I don't know whether it is something to to be discussed because what can be the, the rule uh, other than you know the the fact that first somebody first. yeah. I, I think that yeah. that seems like a like like a like a straightforward way to do it. I mean, when um, you know the first one that's proposed, and it, we could then move forward with that one. And when the next one becomes available, then um, if you know if, if Luca still has funding, or we can get more funding, um, something along those lines to integrate the next one. I mean, does does that seem reasonable to uh, to the folks at ADB or uh, I mean, the, the point is that uh, we should reasonably be sure that uh, if, there are, if there is more than one stack uh, mm -hmm. available for integration, uh, eventually all uh, all such stacks will be integrated. So, so far, the point is whether the Luca project uh, has room for integration of only one stack or can be extended to integrate more than one. Uh, if not, uh, at least we should have um, uh, discussed right now whether another project can be started just after the first has been finished, having some uh, reasonable uh, assurance that this would be done and not uh, will not be stopped by any any mean. Otherwise, I mean the first in first out criteria can be unfair because <laughs> to be the, the the first can be the yeah. only one eventually. Uh, so provided that we agree about it a way of uh, managing this situation uh, and, and there is only one integrator that is, is offered to do this work. It's fine to have a pipeline. 
um, but but this this should be granted uh, already now. I mean I mean before before starting. Otherwise, we 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 need to to think about another another way of of doing that or managing this. I don't know. It, I I I. It's, well, I support your proposal about uh, having uh, Wojtek and uh, and Pasquale as co-chair of the Carry Interest Group, where this uh, work is probably is probably in, of interest to to uh, to have a discussion together with Art uh, and and you and uh, with Purple staff in order to to address this matter. So this is uh, Art. Uh, just not speaking for Luca, but speaking for the funding. Uh, I don't anticipate a problem with doing a second integration from a funding perspective. Yeah. Uh, but, it, but again, it depends on Luca's availability. Exactly. So we, uh, if we should ask for confirmation by Luca or any, any other, any other uh, guys or company or entity that wants to do a similar job. Okay. Um, so I, I mean, does, Am I correct in understanding that we're comfortable now with with the process, given Art's kind of uh, Art's feeling on this, or did I misunderstand you? Um, no, no, I, uh, yeah, I, I just would like that this this will um, I mean this was stated clearly. They will be stated clearly somewhere in the form of uh, whatever you want. But uh, I mean, stating clearly that uh, there will be um, I mean that, that a second or a third whatever stack will be integrated in a reasonable time frame i mean immediately after the first has been has been integrated uh i this could this this statement should be done but uh, as as was noted this implied that some somebody right now um, make um, uh, offers its availability for doing this integration work which is on top of what uh, luca has um, has planned to be done. Okay. Um, so uh, would it seem reasonable if I were to, you know, if I emailed Luca to just kind of get clarification that, you know, he would, I, I don't see why he wouldn't, but I will w to clarify that, you know, he, he, yeah, it's, it's better to know because maybe, maybe okay. Luca has okay. a thing to do. I, I don't know if about this uh, availability of resources. Okay. This side. okay. Um, I will get a confirmation from Luca that, that, you know, he's, he's reasonably certain he's going to have time. I don't see why he wouldn't. He, he's very, he, he, yeah. but so I will, I will confirm that with him and then we will go, go forward, um, with, uh, let's say the, the soft at home stack and then move to the ADB one after that. Yeah. And, and of course the availability of purple funding this, uh, this new, new of course. New, okay. Of course. Absolutely. Okay. Then that's that's we can we can go forward um, under that plan, which I think is I think is a good plan. Um, I will email Luca to confirm, and then um, and Art's reasonably certain on the funding. So I think once we have that, we're we'll be good. Everyone good now? Think we got a plan? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Great. So yeah, that's that's where how we will go forward with that. Um, and that all sounds sounds very reasonable. Um, anything else that anyone else wanted to talk about open funding, open WRT projects? Oh, I also wanted to mention, I was going to, um, I'm still, uh, planning to talk with Kathy and, and when we want to start another round of accepting proposals. Um, we, we also had a, um, and this would certainly go into, I mean, I, this doesn't really need to go to a proposal, this work, but, um, it would also be, uh, you know, funded as part of that. Um, the, uh, asking for proposals from, from both, uh, members of the, of the purple WT community to talk about, you know, are there projects that we think would be valuable to, you know, ask for people to complete with, uh, with purple funding. Um, some of them that came up were the idea of, uh, you know, running Docker on, uh, on open WRT. Um, Kathy had one about uh, some, it was regarding a, a graphics library that would be valuable on OpenWRT. Um, there's a thread available. I would encourage everybody who's involved here who, who's like, okay, 
there's a project that would be really valuable. It'd be great if someone in the community could do it with some funding. Um, please email that list so we kind of have a have a list of kind of suggested projects that we're really looking for people to propose on. Um, and then we'll go through so, the process of. So Wojtek, could I uh, could I suggest Wojtek and Pasquale that you also look back at your HDI presentation from Venice? where you had a number of project proposals and see if any of those are appropriate. Uh, so, sorry, Art, uh, could you repeat your question? I'm not sure I mean, uh, yes, you correctly. You recall that uh, you made a presentation at the HGI meeting in Venice regarding potential carrier-related projects for OpenWRT. So you might just you might just review your presentation and see if you think there's another appropriate project to launch next quarter. Okay. Okay, good. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yes, please email the 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 list or on or that thread or either and we can kind of get those down as as recommended projects for people to submit proposals on. Um anything else that anyone wants to talk about about funding OpenWT projects? No. Nope. Uh, regulatory update. I'm assuming there's there's none. I haven't heard anything. Um, Art, I assume there's nothing new. No, as soon as I hear from them, I'll report, but nothing at the moment. Yep. Okay. That that's what I figured. Um, all right. Uh, the Open WRT Summit. Uh, we closed the submissions last Friday. Uh, we had I think it was about 23 proposals. The committee met on Tuesday um, to go through the proposals and we, we have a, um, a sense of which ones we are accepting. We're clarifying with a couple people who had um, the longer proposal length. We are going to ask everybody to see if they're going to be comfortable with the, um, the shorter 25 minute sessions. Um, we, we're doing that because we want to get as many of these you know, really awesome projects uh, and, and uh, proposals done. Um, so once we get that clarification, we're going. We will email the accept, the ones that were accepted, um, and the people that were not accepted certainly, and then uh, let them know uh, that we would that you know on the on our decision. So we're moving forward with that. Um, any questions about that? Um, no. Okay. Um, I also have uh, have contacted a uh, a um, event organizer in um, in Germany who uh, to help with some of the logistics. I, I think I'd mentioned that we're finalizing her contract, um, and it's uh, so she will help with that. Um, but she's very highly recommended from some really great people and open source community management and event management. And she has experience managing events, so that will be very helpful. Um, any other questions about OpenWRT Summit? All right. Uh, any questions about anything related to Purple, Purple WRT? Anything else that anyone wants to talk about? Hey, Eric and uh, Wojtek and Pasquale, I'd, I'd just like you to watch your email uh, later today or later this evening in the case of Europe. Uh, I'll be sending you some draft slides for the board presentation okay. on, the open, on the Purple WRT side, and I'd like uh, your comments back. I'd, I'd like to send these slides out uh, Friday midday uh, California time, uh, because it, you know it's a long weekend here in uh, in the states. So uh, the board meeting's Tuesday morning. So I'd like to get it out uh, Friday midday. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Great. All right. Anything else? All right. Well, hearing none, I guess we will uh, we will call it a meeting. Um, thanks everyone for coming. We'll we'll see you again next week, and uh, um, keep on the lookout for any emails or anything else.
Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Bye.